One of the problems with the American economic system is that recessions and depressions do happen. And every time they do happen, folk music becomes popular again. I think that's one of the reasons why Winston Thomas took such a call to the Obama generation. Also, kids love crazy people. That guy was absolutely out of his mind. Are you out of your mind? You want to ditch the truck and we're still 500 miles from Okima? Fear not, my gentle roadie. This is the way Woody wants it. He wants us to walk and to ride the rails. Hitchhiking, maybe. Hard traveling, traveling hard. It's the only way that I can accrue the type of experience that I need to sing certain songs authentically. Cut. That was pretty good. Can we do it again? Let me back up a little. Winston Thomas used to be what is commonly known as a hipster. Back then, Winston went by his birth name. Harvey. How many hipsters does it take to screw in a light bulb? You don't know? <laughs> Please. Harvey Grossman was one of our earliest supporters. He was the first person to say that we were great. And then when a whole lot of other people started saying we were great, he was the first person that said that we sucked. So that guy, that little toad, was Winston Thomas? Like all good hipsters, Harvey worked in the record store by day and by night hung out in other record stores. He played in an indie rock band called Rachmaninoff. They took their fans on journeys through lush, exotic soundscapes. They also sucked. Harvey's girlfriend, Bonnie, played bass. Their relationship got combative at times. But even then, Harvey believed it fed his art. One day, Harvey got some news that would change his life forever. I'm sorry, guys. Between the economy and the digital stuff, I can't keep the store. We're closing. Oh, man, this is the third job I've lost like this. But we can keep some records, right? Five each. The rest go on eBay. Harvey began searching for tacky album covers to display, ironically, in his apartment. Father Francis. Sweet. Then, he came across something mystical. Anthology of American folk music. Edited by Harry Smith. That was the beginning of the end. I guess being out of work meant he could really identify with all those songs about hard times. For him, folk music was like a drug. He started on the anthology and Woody Guthrie, but soon hit the harder stuff. He locked himself in a closet listening to those old records of weird ballads about talking birds and roses growing out of people's brains. And he wouldn't come out. I'm going away. What do you want me to bring you back? I'm going away. What do you want me to bring you back? Think about the dying world, mama, that I surely lack. Harvey, what the hell? We're supposed to go hear some music tonight. No, I am listening to music, honey. Real music. Authentic music. Music. Bonnie? Now some old day, your trouble be like mine. When he came out of the closet, Harvey was a changed man, reborn as Winston Thomas, the self-styled greatest and most authentic folk singer of all time.
After that, he started playing under his new name. He even began recording albums and releasing them himself. And people loved it. I didn't get it. Still, I didn't realize how far gone he was until the break-in. I received an alarm report from the Old Town School of Folk Music, and uh, I was first to respond. I proceeded to the uh, resource room where I found, uh, well, I thought I was going to find an intruder who was looking to jack some instruments, but no, I see this guy, and he's just huddled over and mumbling to himself. Woody? Okima. Oh, I was looking for some unreleased recordings of Frank Stokes, but while I was down there, I felt a hand on my shoulder and a presence in the room that couldn't have been anybody but Woody. And he said, come and follow me. Now you're referring to the folk singer Woody Guthrie. Truly, it was none other. Winston was brilliant, you know. I'm, I never really got along with him. I, I shared the bill with him on, on a few, few gigs around the time of his break-in thing. And he'd always be hanging about backstage talking about how he had to go to Okima, which is where Woody Guthrie was born. Um, he wanted to go there to be, I th think he wanted to be anointed in the sort of way that Dylan was when he went to visit Woody in the hospital. But what he didn't realise and what I told him was that Woody didn't actually die in Okima. In fact, he's not even buried there. His ashes got scattered in the Hudson. And um, really, if he wanted to go capture the spirit of Woody Guthrie, you should probably just go and jump in the river. Taking a trip to Okima, Oklahoma, became a singular obsession. He even hired an immigrant worker, Miguel Sanchez, as his full-time roadie. <laughs> oh man, that song you did about the girl who stabbed the guy and threw him down the well? And then that talking bird comes? That was awesome! <laughs> Miguel became Winston's right-hand man, business manager, and confidant. For the record, my name is Michael Sanchez. My parents are from Cleveland. This guy's nuts. He helped him to prepare for the mystical journey to Okima, for which he would be well paid. Once I get to Okima and get anointed, the walls of hatred will come a-tumbling down. Tumbling down. The sky above will become an endless highway. The Goliaths will be conquered and Sacco and Vanzetti will be free. Didn't Sacco and Vanzetti die, like, 50 years ago? They never died. No, I'm pretty sure they got the chair. You have a lot to learn about folk singing, Miguel. You know, they're like Joe Hill. They shot him down, but he never died. He never died. The last piece of the puzzle before he was ready to go was me. He says he won't leave unless an ethnomusicologist comes along to document the journey. I'm not one of those. He doesn't need to know that. And besides, you could get a hell of a documentary out of it. Trust me. And you're ready to roll tonight? Pack your bags. Winston's music spoke to people of all races, ages, and subcultures. No, you don't get it. When he's talking about Sacco and Vanzetti, he's actually talking about Leonard Peltier and Mumia Abu-Jamal. I hope he plays the English version of the Twa Sisters and not the Scottish one. Yeah, the English one is way gorier. And I don't get it all about a green Madonna. I go to every Winston show and the set list is different every time. He's authentic in an artificial world, man. Seriously, he was rock man and all. I know he used to suck. I heard he got good when he sold his soul to Crossroads. Which Crossroads? Uh, I think Milwaukee North and Damon. No, man. It was 72nd and Archer on the south side. That's where Winston is from. I grew up listening to these songs, but I never really heard them until I heard Winston Thomas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please welcome Winston Thomas.
I come for to sing. Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. And remember the Red River Valley. And I ask Miguel to go with me. I ask Miguel, my Rodian confidant, to go with me. I ask Miguel. Yes, I'm going down that road feeling bad, Lord, Lord. And I ain't gonna be treated this way. Would you send to New Jersey where Coriolis ate his brain and lay on his back for a decade? Pardon me. Are you Michael Sanchez, webmaster of WinstonThomas.com? Yeah. My name is Harry Mutasov. I'm with the Internal Revenue Service. I need to talk to you about your delinquency in paying taxes on the revenues of your website. Oh yeah? Well, um, I'll talk to Winston after the show and uh, we'll get that cleared up right away. I can knock on heaven's door Till all of the angels join unions And nobody's damned anymore We'll go doorbell ditching up at the pearly gates we'll Go ringing the bell and running like hell Heaven would just have to wait Thank you kindly friends I'll be back in a jiffy with another set of authentic folk and blues music We gotta get you out of here, man. No, that's him, right? The guy from the House on American Activities Committee. Oh, man, he's with the IRS. Well, that's what he wants you to think. He's actually from UAC. He thinks I'm a communist. You are a communist. Right. But we should go. Not over. Not by a long shot. And so it was that Winston began his journey. As much for the sake of his own greater honor as for his duty to the nation, he sought authenticity on the highways and byways of the American Midwest. Along the way, he fully intended to right every manner of wrong giving himself the opportunity to experience every sort of oppression, so that, surmounting them all, he would cover himself with fame and glory. I'm going away, but you want me to bring you back? I'm going away, but you want me to bring you back? Not a dime in this world, Mama, I surely lack Now some old day your troubles will be like mine some old day your troubles will be like mine But may you always be as one Mm -hmm. I'm going down that road feeling bad, feeling bad. Mm -hmm. 
Lord, I'm going down that road feeling bad. Lord, I'm going down that road feeling bad. Lord, Lord, and I ain't gonna be treated this way. I'm going where the climate suits my clothes. Lord, I'm going where the climate suits my clothes. Suits my clothes. Lord, I'm going where the climate suits my clothes, Lord, Lord, and I ain't gonna be treated this way.